The world's richest nations have been accused of leaving the poorer countries to bear the brunt of the global refugee crisis. Amnesty International says 56% of the world's 21 million refugees have been taken in by just 10 countries. And those nations, all in the Middle East, Africa and South Asia, account for less than 2.5% of global wealth. Now, Jordan hosts almost 655,000 refugees from Syria, while the UK, which has got a GDP almost 100 times bigger, has accepted only around 8,000. Canada has been singled out as a wealthy country that is actually doing its part. 30,000 Syrian refugees have been resettled there in the last year. Now, Amnesty is calling for a new global mechanism to share the task of resettling people based on criteria such as size, wealth and unemployment rate. Well, Kathleen Newland is from the Migration Policy Institute and she says unless more countries help, refugees will continue to flee using dangerous routes. I think we'll see more people trying to move through clandestine channels, using smugglers, putting themselves in great danger uh, to try to reach uh, a place where they can restart their lives. And the more governments try to close off those routes, uh, the more dangerous uh, the alternatives become. It's sort of like squeezing a balloon. When you think you've choked off one route, another one will pop up that will be more expensive, more dangerous, and make more money for the smugglers.